Our expenditures on fuel in May of 2022, just last month, were 119% of what they were in May of 2021. Nationwide gas prices continue to rise, and in Montana, the average price is headed in the $5 a gallon direction. And that's taking a financial toll on organizations like Great Falls Emergency Services, which not only provides local ambulance services, but covers a lot of ground transporting patients. We certainly do quite a bit of regional work as well as far as helping get patients from, uh, say for example, Northern Montana Hospital in Haver down to Great Falls. We travel through North Central Montana quite a bit uh, executing these inner facility transfers. Gross says GFES tends to budget high due to the uncertainty in gas prices. He says they do get relatively low fixed rate reimbursements from the state and federal government. He says maintaining regular maintenance schedules on the fleet is important and some savings can be found by monitoring idle times. Typically on emergency call, we do not shut the truck off and, and that wouldn't really change, but there's other scenarios where we could perhaps um, not idle the truck, um, thereby using increased fuel. The higher prices have yet to affect the agency's hiring initiatives or scheduling. Across town at the Cascade County Sheriff's Office, that might not be the case. It could mean that, that, that programs and things that we want to put in place to help better serve the community, we might not be able to put in place. Uh, it could mean that uh, we projected out some um, extra positions. We may have to cut those or lose those positions. Um, it could mean it could have effects on contracts uh, for pay. Slaughter says the office remains dedicated to public safety. He says managing the department's $21 million budget would be easier if he knew gas prices were going to level off. Let's say gas last year was you know, 1.5 million of that, you know, it, that means this year it could be five, six million. Well, the 21 million doesn't expand.